Hi Wizarding Friends, it's Claire. This video will consist of two parts, an Airbnb walkthrough and a short vlog portion at the end where Nate and I play the common room scavenger hunt. I really hope you enjoy! If you have any questions about my experience, the Airbnb itself, or anything else, you can leave a comment down below or DM me on Instagram at i.solemnlyclaire. Thank you! Don't forget to spread love and lumos! I'm gonna start opening the gifts that the hosts gave us. So, first thing is this Deathly Hollows necklace. And this is actually perfect because I used to have one and I cannot find mine. So we have a Deathly Hollows necklace. I love the length of it too. And then we have a Hogwarts letter and peeking through it is a platform nine and three quarters ticket. So, this is actually so nice, wow! So this is the ticket, platform 9 and 3 quarters. And the letter, and it feels like there is a card inside. So I'm gonna try to open this. Actually, is this supposed to be opened? I'm kind of nervous about breaking the seal. So there is something in here, it feels like a card, but I don't want to break this seal, so I'm going to keep it as is. And then we have this Harry Potter mask, and it is, I think, handmade. Yeah, it's handmade from here, that is so nice. Wow, great quality too. And it has all the houses, yes it does. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I don't have a Harry Potter mask. I actually ordered a Harry Potter mask off of a shop on Etsy, but it was mailed to the US to my PO box there, and the borders are closed right now, so I can't even pick it up. And I think it's been sitting there for like three months now, so I'm really happy to have this mask. And finally, we have a Gryffindor scarf. So I have the one from the Wizarding World in Universal. Um, actually, no, that's a lie. I got mine from Lock Haven. So I think it's pretty much the same since Lock Haven is the one that makes those. Um, the scarves and the jumpers, all that. But I love this one too. I like how it's the darker kind of maroon color. And it reminds me of the first movie. Oh, and it has the crest right here. So every single guest that stays here gets the scarf. They get the wand and the mask, I guess, and the necklace, the letter, the ticket, everything. And it's all on the welcome letter, which honestly, I feel like I want to frame this because it's so special.
We found the sorting hat and I'm about to get sorted again. Let's see if I'm still in Gryffindor. We just finished up dinner and now we are going to try that scavenger hunt. This is where the scavenger hunt is. So it says all of Voldemort's horcruxes are hidden around the condo. So it has a list of all of the horcruxes here obviously. And then on the bottom, um, there's also some Harry Potter treasures scattered throughout the suite. So we're gonna find these and it even has Harry's invisibility cloak and then a long string of numbers right next to it So I don't know if it's hidden someplace with a code or something But I'm going to check all of these off and just yeah run around this condo looking for all this Harry Potter stuff I can't find any so far right now. We're looking for the diary we check under the tree, you know, because Christmas tree. There's literally nothing under the tree. What are you talking about? Look. There's bricks loose. What? Yeah. Oh! Yo! <gasps> Is that the ring? Yo! Perfect. Oh my god. Here I was thinking they were going to be out in the open, but no, we definitely have to like move things around and look deep into this condo to look for these horcruxes. Found Hufflepuff's cup. There it is. He's so good at finding things. He found the diary. Go ahead. You think it's in here? No, it's actually right here. Cause there's a plastic bag behind the toilet. Is this open? Oh. There's like a little crack. Oh, it does. Oh shit. <laughs> There it is! Oh my gosh, yay! Okay, we just need to find Nagini. There's no way Nagini's in there. Should I try? Oh my god, I'm scared. Wash your hands after this. <laughs> no way. Yo, what the Oh my god. That is so creepy, but so well played. So we just finished the scavenger hunt, but Nate basically found all of the horcruxes. So Tom Riddle's diary was kind of behind the toilet because obviously that's where Ginny takes the diary in the films and in the books. And then Marvel Gaunt's ring was hidden in a loose brick under the Christmas tree. I don't know how Nate found that, but I guess the brick was kind of sticking out. So we were checking under the Christmas tree originally and then he pulled it out and voila, there it was. Um, Slytherin's locket was inside the Deathly Hollows book. They took a chunk of the book out pretty much and took the pages out and the locket was there. And then Helga Hufflepuff's cup was in the kitchen because the Hufflepuff common room is near the kitchen. So I love that little thing. And then the diadem was in this, there's like a hidden pull out door that just stores like the vacuum for this condo. And I guess it's like the room of requirements. So that's where the diadem was. And then we had the hardest time with Nagini and I was kind of nervous about it because next to Nagini it says in brackets please do not touch so I was like oh my gosh is there a real snake in here um, and I was thinking that it was going to be near Godric Gryffindor's sword because that's what destroys her but they the hosts went with something a little more Chamber of Secrets and we found her in the little toilet I don't even know what it's called but um, yeah the space behind the toilet Nate had to lift it up Oh, I almost thought it was a real snake, so I was kind of creeped out, but yeah, that was actually a lot of fun And it was very well thought out too where the horcruxes were placed 